Hello, Monetization Nation. This is a Sunday episode, and today we're going to talk about patriotism through entrepreneurship. I'm Nathan Gwilliam, your host. During the Great Depression, there was a 22-year-old young man named George Jenkins. George was the manager of a Florida Piggly Wiggly, and he quit his job as the manager and started his own grocery store chain next door. The store not only survived, but it has grown to be a 1,000 store chain today that is known as Publix. President Reagan said, entrepreneurs and their small business enterprises are responsible for almost all the economic growth of the United States. Well, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. Uh, America's 31 million small businesses generate nearly half of all U.S. economic activity. The nominal GDP of American small businesses comes out to roughly $6 trillion. That's more than the entire GDP of Japan, the world's third largest economy, sourceindependent.org. John F. Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. This is the sentiment of patriotism. Instead of looking to our country for a handout, we look for what we can do to help build and grow our countries, wherever that may be, it doesn't have to be in America. We can grow our countries through the patriotism of entrepreneurship. Hubert Humphrey said, quote, what we need are critical lovers of America, patriots who express their faith in their country by working to improve it, unquote. Here's a few stats that help make this point really well. According to the Small Business Administration, small companies in America create 1.5 million jobs annually and account for 64% of new jobs created in the U.S. That was a 2019 statistic. Imagine that. Small businesses are responsible for 64% of all new jobs created. Also, a 2019 report found that small businesses accounted for 44% of U.S. economic activity. Also, despite COVID-19, and one of the worst economic downturns in modern history, startup business activity grew in the United States. Business startups grew from 3.5 million in 2019 to 4.4 million in 2020. That's a 24% increase during a pandemic. Research suggests that it's new businesses that create these jobs in America. Studying the patterns in startup activity is hence an indicator of future employment growth. So the concept is small business starts up, and it's not just how many jobs the small business creates at the beginning, but maybe a decade later, that small business is is, uh, producing 10,000 or 20,000 jobs for Americans. Entrepreneurs and their small or startup businesses help to keep our American economy running during times of crisis. By becoming entrepreneurs, we show our patriotism for America. And I think this is a really important point that when times get tough and big companies are needing to do layoffs, the difference tends to be made up by the small businesses who are creating jobs and and adding new jobs to the economy. America provides a very favorable environment for entrepreneurship, possibly the best in the world. I've helped create ventures in other countries and it has been much more difficult in those environments. For example, um, I've created several, helped create several ventures in Brazil. And did you know Brazil has about a 100% tax on employee wages? So let's say I was paying an employee $5,000 a month in Brazil for their salary, I would also have to pay approximately $5,000 of taxes for that employee. Think how much more difficult it is to create businesses in that type of environment. I'm not saying we shouldn't pay taxes. I am a supporter of paying taxes. Um, but they need to be done in a way that that still allow entrepreneurship to fuel the economy. Mark Cuban um, had a great quote about paying taxes. He said, quote, get out there and make a boatload of money. Pay your taxes. It's the most patriotic thing you can do. So this is one of the key points. Entrepreneurs are patriots because they pay taxes, and those taxes help fuel the economy and and pay for government activity. 
Also, entrepreneurs help create jobs. Liberty Capital Group said, quote, we must remember that our roles as business owners provide us with an opportunity to make a patriotic contribution to our country, its economy. Business owners have the opportunity to create jobs and to help fuel a stalled economy. There are many companies that are great examples of starting during tough times, during recessions, or even the, the Great Depression, as, as Publix did. Hyatt is another great example of a company that started during a recession. Two months into the recession of 1958, entrepreneur Jay Pitzker purchased the Hyatt House, a motel near Los An the Los Angeles International Airport. Even with business activity and travel slowing during the tough economic times, Pritzker continued to push on. He even opened up two additional hotels before the end of the decade. Eventually, his collection would grow to more than 900 Hyatt properties, an annual revenue that exceeded more than $5 billion. Source, medium. So as we create businesses, we create jobs that drive the economy. President Obama said, Quote, small businesses have always been an integral part of the U.S. economy and growth, unquote. And just to summarize, entrepreneurship shows our patriotism. The entrepreneurs take the risk that is necessary to fuel the economic growth of America. Entrepreneurs generate taxes that help pay for the government. And entrepreneurs create jobs that help provide for many families and generate more taxes for the government. And in the end, as we create businesses as entrepreneurs, it's a very effective way to help show our patriotism and help grow America. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode. I wish you success as you strive to show patriotism through your entrepreneurship.